Twitter up to a table. They got cold built up. Hello everyone, the day has finally come where we put actions to words and finally create my mini binder. We have gotten to this point, Justin Bieber was right. Never say never because I never saw myself as a mini binder person for several reasons because I know my collection is constantly growing and having a mini binder was just not practical for me because I'm not a very aesthetic person. Like. I don't do a lot of things to be aesthetic. I don't do a lot of things to seem cute. I decided to get a mini binder, as I've said before, because of my benefits. I have so many benefits. I collect so many benefits. And especially for the boys, this is, I, I'm purely doing this for the boys, but if I could incorporate other benefits into this binder, like I'm totally gonna do it. And you're gonna see how I'm gonna do it. So first let's talk about the different binders that I have on hand. Okay, so number one. We're talking about purely aesthetic binders. I have this little scrapbook journal from the NCT 2020 Resonance era. This was sold as a scrapbook with a PC. Like at first glance, like I absolutely love it. I've tried so hard to try to incorporate this into my life. Like I've tried every possible excuse to find meaning to this scrapbook thing. It's not practical. It's just not practical for me and I can't justify using it to be honest and that is why a lot of like mini binders that are really really cute I would probably end up pulling my hair because it's just not practical. First of all I don't like how the rings are attached to the spine it's just I'm used to a lot of binders now having the rings like on the last kind of thing here the cover and also as far as storage like this is absolutely cute like like I said before, I absolutely love it and I've tried so many different ways to incorporate this into my life. It's not practical for photo card storage for me because I like to store stuff like standing up like this. These are not like reliable so they'll end up bending or something like that and they'll bend here at the bottom. So you really have to store these lying down which I don't know, I feel like that takes up more space to be honest TDH. So moving on to the next choice that I have. If you are an OG viewer, you remember seeing this binder from when I first started collecting. I had this mini binder and I used it to store like all of the postcards and extra inclusions that I got from albums and I would store them in here. Um, these are still all my dreamlike stuff that I still have because it's so completely, extremely hard to get rid of this stuff because I feel like everybody has it I'm, like this close to like just throwing it away like to be honest just throwing it away so i can just have my space i can be relieved from that space and if you're offended by the fact that i would just throw some of this stuff away in the garbage i wouldn't throw it away i'd probably recycle it because it's like this is paper postcards i think are recyclable maybe so yeah if you're offended by that people literally make greeting cards out of postcards because they have so many of them extremely hard like I said to get rid of them so if you're making greeting cards out of your postcards you're essentially throwing them away because when I get them I throw them away because they're bent like they're not usable and I have like so many like excess stuff and if I gave them away for free I would still be paying shipping because it is a large item so it's it's just a lose lose situation so I'm better off just recycling them getting rid of them that was a whole different tangent sorry about that but yeah i took all of these out of this mini binder that i've had for like so freaking long and i put all my larger inclusions in here because i took them out from my main binder all my postcards and all that stuff i couldn't part with them just yet because i was making like the final efforts to find a way to get these to work and me practicing out of sight, out of mind, maybe if I stored them away and like completely forgot about them, then I would be prompt to sell them. But no, I haven't been able to sell them yet. And I was thinking like maybe I can continue using this for larger inclusions, but it's kind of filling up already and that's kind of driving me crazy. But if we're talking about specs, this type of binder, I could totally see myself using for photo cards like this is a I think this is Avery brand I got this at Walmart like 
forever ago. I'm sure they still have it. I love that this spine is very, very durable because there are some like binder brands that you can hear the crackling sound, but this one is pretty stable. I love that the rings are on the back cover, like I said before. It just, it's bendable like this, I guess, if you want it to. Here attached to the back. Um, absolutely love this style of binders. Now what's not practical about this is the width size. So I believe this is a one inch binder. From testing it out here, like I could already see that it was getting full. This would just be like a purely the boys benefit binder, which I was kind of aiming to do more with it because I guarantee you the boys benefits would fill up this whole entire binder. I was doing research because I really wanted to make this idea come to life to at least try it, right? I wanted to try it without purchasing anything extra, but it had come to a point where, okay, I do have to purchase something extra. The solution that I came to and what we're finally ready to organize is the binder that I eventually bought. So this is a binder that I bought. This is an A5 two inch binder. Look at that thickness. Let me bring the other one for comparison. So this is the two inch binder and this is the one inch. It's kind of looking like a half inch now, honestly, but yeah. So this is massive in size and this was it guys. This was absolutely it. Like. I found it, I'm like, this This is gonna work. Let me give you a little tour without PCs in it before I put the PCs in it. It's got these massive rings. It's got the rings on the back, just how I like it. And I'm not too sure about the durability of this. This is Sam Sil brand. Um, I think I do have a Sam Sil brand that I'm not too fond of, but I couldn't find Avery brand for the A5 size. It does have a cover here and it does feel pretty, pretty durable. I could stand it up for storage. It, it satisfies me to every extent possible. The pockets here are not clear, so kind of outdated to be honest because most binders now have a clear pocket. And as you can see, I already bought these wonderful, wonderful four pocket pages and I bought two packs because I wasn't sure if one would subdue. And then when I got the packs, I didn't realize like really how many I had ordered. I think this is around 80 pages. I don't wanna, don't wanna count them, but trust me, it's around like 80 pages, which is a really great start because look how much space we have left. That's amazing. We love it, we stand. And I did get these pages off of Amazon. I know there's a lot of places where you have to buy from a Japanese proxy, but no, I did get these off Amazon and I actually have not tested it on a photo card yet. So let me show you that real quick so we can do it together. So this is a random Chunla reload PC, very standard size, boom. And I'm sure if you're the type of person to use sleeves, it would have a better fit. Yes, it would, like it would prevent it from moving around. But I always mention that these are my favorite type of sleeves because they're not as thick and you can fit more PCs on there. I don't know if these are PVC free. That I will tell you, I have absolutely no idea. Let's get finally to putting these benefits in here. It's probably gonna take me a really, really long time. So I'll just probably do a speed run. I will talk to you guys at the end of the video for the conclusion.
Alright everyone, so mission completes. I put all of the benefits that I wanted to put in here and to be honest, I'm actually quite shocked with the amount of space it took up. Another thing that has surprised me about these sleeves is that they are double-sided. So if you put one PC here, this PC is not touching the PC in the back. So I kind of like that to be honest, like they're like separate, they're not touching each other. So like the movement of one is not affecting the movement of the other one in the back. So um, I set up the boys and I will make like little tabs, I think. So it's like easier for me to like flip through it when I ever want to put a benefit away. I am trying to be more careful about the benefits that I buy for the boys. Thrilling era just really just threw me off um, and it affected my Maverick era. So I'm not collecting as many benefits for Maverick. As I have before in the past and then I did put gravity in here I absolutely love I actually think gravity is gonna be an old group guys like when I see their PCs like I absolutely love gravity's PCs or I just absolutely love Taeyong and Chungmo like that could be just it I don't know but I absolutely love collecting gravity I have so much fun collecting gravity I am selective with some of gravity's benefits though so here I have like some really random benefits that I just Kind of put together because I didn't have the equivalent to them, which is it's just fine. It's okay. And then I did leave blank spaces for the benefits that I do plan to get an equivalent for, um, and I just haven't gotten to it yet. And then I also decided to put Sans benefits in here. I don't collect all of Sans benefits. If you collect all of your biases in eighties, their benefits. That was like a horribly worded sentence. Wow, but you know what I mean. Um, how do you do it? Like, that's that's crazy to me. Like, I could not, especially if you click sun, because that's probably, I don't know. I don't know how you do it. But congratulations on your effort. So I did end up putting sun in here. I didn't have a problem with how it looked like in my big binder, but I did relieve around two pages. And I do have like Fever Part 3 benefits on the way. And then Fever Part 4 was just announced. So I'll probably collect some benefits for there, but not all of them. So I'll leave some space there. So in total, I used 16 pages out of probably the 80 pages that I have in here. I do feel like this is going to fill up quite quickly. I kind of made a good call by not using one inch binder like the other one that I have. And I do love the two inch. It gives me some space to like, you know, flip over and I'm able to see both sides, which is fantastic. So thank you guys for watching another chaotic video. When I started my collection journey, I like told myself that I would never allow myself to have so many binders, but look at me now, Justin Bieber again, never say never. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Have a good week. Good night. Have a great week. And remember, you are beautiful.